once you've done something a certain way and that audience has given you the the feedback, you become you become yeah. addicted to it. You yeah, know, yeah. you're like, well, I can't give that up. If I give that up, yeah. It's once just I, not once I've be done a fun. bit, once I've done that bit, it's obviously yeah. working. Yeah, yeah. And you're telling yourself, well, it's working and it's good. But really, what it is is you like that you can feel it. And the, but the truth yeah. is, what's more interesting is to not, you know, hang on no, not and try to control it. Because when you're when you're, I think when you're trying to control it and replicate. Yeah. The same thing, then it actually becomes quite boring. It becomes dead very quickly. I mean, I, I, I did a Katie Mitchell production. She's the most extraordinary director when it comes to process. And it was extraordinary. The first preview we did, um, the first scene, Hattie Morahan and myself, and we were, we were sort of utterly perplexed by the fact that this fourth wall didn't exist, that there were people looking at what we were doing and, and our work and, and finding it funny. We thought we got something terribly wrong. <laughs> and we came off and we were sort of talking to Katie, uh, what was it? I mean, I really thought my flies were, what the f what was it? Were they just nervous? And she went, no, I don't want you to think about why they thought it was funny. I said, oh, is it funny? I don't want you to think about why they <laughs> thought it was funny, you know, so, because it's, that's such a thing, you know, chase a yeah. laugh or a, a, a moment of, you know, sort of a dramatic high or whatever the shape of that thing that worked is. And you, you are, you're in a dead space very, very quickly. And it was great going in from rehearsals, but it's so hard to maintain that. Uh, attitude is it takes that's I think the strong people say how how do you learn lies how, how do you deal with nerves how do you deal with being in front of an audience forget all of that the hardest thing is to I think pretend that it is the first time and yeah. hear it and feel it for something yeah, that it, it hasn't been the night before you know? I, I once on that play I was chasing a laugh um, I, I had a laugh from a little bit and it had grown every night and I kept increasing you know I kept leaning into the bit yeah. harder and to, just to almost to see like how big can this you know laugh yeah. get and I can't think of a time I've forgotten a line on stage in my life like I, I, I just doesn't happen to yeah. me really yeah. and we were in previews on this thing and I um I leaned into this bit too much and I got this huge laugh and it's really and it and, it, and I kind of stood up and it's kind of these coke fueled like monologues and I, I I let myself I let the laugh and the satisfaction just threw me off that much and I started in, and Catherine Keener was looking, gave me this look like, what? Oh, and no. I realized I had jumped about 15 minutes forward. Oh. Um, I had jumped about 15 minutes of the play. <laughs> and as I began to realize that I had done that, but you're still steaming forward, mm. I'm seeing the other actor off stage who's, whose entrance I have now <laughs> jumped, looking at me like, what? <laughs> and um, Finally, he had the presence to just enter, yeah. which broke it, sent it back to at least his entrance. Then we get through a lot of what we've missed, but now here we are oh coming back God. to what I've already done. Oh my God. And the, but the sensations were so, later. Shame, I, I, the I, shame. No, but really, I, later I felt like it was one of the most interesting things that ever happened to me on a stage right. because, because, you know, like you're, you can feel like that cell in your finger, you yeah. know, like, yeah. like, like, it's like the beginning of Saving Private Ryan, you can hear voices, yes. but but your, your head is spinning. But your blood feels a little bit like lead in those moments. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> kind of I thought it was great. I yeah. thought it was like, I, I mean, I did it to myself, but, um, <laughs> but it, it produced a very interesting experience. <laughs> Uh, we're so excited about the fourth season, and I wanted to find out from your perspective, without you know whatever you can share with us, what's the most exciting thing uh, that you feel uh, we can expect from from what's coming. From what's coming in Game of Thrones? Let me see. I would say that there are events that take place this season that we've been building up for for a really long time, and 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 the, their their arrival is is is, is now, and so. You don't know when that they're gonna happen, but they're gonna happen. So that's kind of a lame answer, but there's a lot of stuff that's gonna go down. What about your character? Yeah. How how does he evolve, and what uh, traits of your character do you have them more fun with, or, or what what what's it like to play? Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a hard question to answer because there's too much fun to be had with this character. He doesn't care what people think. He enters every room without fear. Um, he has a very, very specific agenda when he comes to King's Landing. Um, he has vengeance in his heart. He also loves life, like a good Latino. <laughs> um, he enjoys his wine, he enjoys his women, he enjoys everything beautiful. And um, so, I mean, take your pick. I basically had a, a, a I, I would have, if I had to, 
I had a really, really great time playing this character. Uh, tell me, lastly, what's it like to enter those magical sets? You know, what goes through your head when you walk into that crazy world? Did you ever think that you, you would think you would you would? I think that I almost had the expectation that things would sort of seem smaller in person because I watch the show and it's all so epic and um, and gorgeous and the production value is is, is so amazing. And it looks and feels that way when you're shooting it. The locations, like in Croatia, the glistening sea, which when I was first watching the series, I thought was a green screen because I was like, there's nothing that looks that beautiful. And then there it is right in front of me. And the enormous sets and, and all of the extras and the costumes, it was just like, it was like shooting an epic 10-hour film.